So speaking of the under-the-radar player watch, one of the guys you need to watch out for on Boise State, Derek Alston Jr., this guy, I think he was nine for nine in that game against New Mexico, or whatever. This guy was, this guy was money. So he's kind of the 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 glue pin, the linchpin of Boise State's offense. Six uh, nine junior forward, and he's a redshirt guy. So you know, this guy's a four year college player already. His dad played in the NBA. Uh, Derek Alston Sr., obviously. Um, played two years. Was a second round draft pick of the Philadelphia 76ers in 1994. Um, two years in the league, plus a couple games with the Houston Rockets following that. So two years and a cup of coffee. And also played 16 years in Europe. And yet Derek Alston Jr., coming out of high school, had no D1 offers. So even though you know he's obviously had some decent height at 6'9", maybe not that coming out of high school, but couldn't have been too far behind it. With a father who played in the NBA, and all he had was D2 offers, so he opted to decide to walk on at Boise State, you know, try to... Just get on the team and uh, redshirted first year, didn't really make much of an impact uh, his freshman year, and then finally has a breakout year. I think he was averaging about 17 last year a game, and now he's one of the best mid-major players in the country. So Derek Alston Jr., watch out for this guy. He's making some stuff happen, and, and, and again, go back to lazy recruiting, what I talked about with Shamar Ratan Mays. How, how does a guy whose father played in the NBA, and I think his dad... Is still, I think his dad's the coach of the Knicks G League team. So he's still heavily involved in basketball. And so you know, a kid like that's got to have a pretty decent basketball IQ and mindset growing up around the game and understanding what it takes to be, to, to, to have a success in college, to have success in the NBA because his dad did. And so you know, how guys like this slip through the cracks, I don't know.